Well, good evening, Eastern Carolina. Certainly a cloudy evening here, a little bit on the cool side. Good night to just stay inside. These clouds are flowing from the system here in the Gulf of Mexico. Lots of rainfall there in the southeast and for Florida, and they uh, certainly do need it just like we do. Clouds in place tonight will allow temperatures to stay a bit more on the mild side, not really the 30s that we've been seeing. 54 degrees there in uh, Greenville right now, Pitt County, and temperatures will get generally into the 50s for any evening plans for tonight. Overnight lows will be in the upper 40s generally. Notice the low 40s possible further inland. We're going to try to scatter out some clouds here heading into our Thursday. That low in the Gulf will move to the other side of Florida and still no rain for us tomorrow, but that will help kind of see a little bit more sunshine further inland for tomorrow, warming us up uh, to the low to mid 70s. Mid 70s possible further inland, generally 72, 73 degrees. We'll take it after being in the low to mid 60s all week here. That trough offshore is not that low that we were talking about, but still could give us a few spotty showers east of Highway 17 starting tomorrow evening, heading throughout the day on Friday. Clouds get back into the picture for Friday. Um, not that much of a breeze though with it. 10 to 15 knots from the east. 8.58 is your high tide time for tomorrow and uh, only 2 to 5 feet there on the seas. So again, we're tracking right now. The low is on the left hand side, the Gulf side of Florida. But this energy here in southern Florida will uh, start to pick up and that low will transfer to the other side. Once it moves over to the other side of Florida tomorrow evening, We'll have a much better picture as to how it will impact us. But the forecast for Friday is trending drier, which is good news, of course, for our Friday night football plans. As that low starts to lip north, that high moves offshore, which will again warm us up for the next few days. But that high moving offshore is giving that more of an eastward track. So we're not going to pick up much of the beneficial rain that we really need here in eastern Carolina, but still some shower chances th Friday evening east of Highway 17 specifically, but not a washout behind it. High pressure fills in Sunday, mostly sunny, but it will be on the chilly side back into the upper 50s, low 60s, and then we'll be tracking our next weather maker heading into Thanksgiving around the Tuesday, Wednesday time frame before the travel plans. Uh, that will be a cold front, maybe a low along the cold front that could give us some heavier rain. Something we'll certainly be hashing out because I know we have a lot of travel plans. And if you are traveling up the 95 corridor up towards the Chicago area, if you have any flights, this same system that will bring us some showers could bring some heavy rain or even some snow up to the northeast. So if you are traveling the country for Thanksgiving, that will be something you want to keep an eye on. But again, for us, low 70s for the rest of the week, clouds, uh, clouds and sunshine. Only about a 30 40% chance of showers, especially Friday evening east of Highway 17. Again, not a washout will dry out through the weekend, cool down ahead of that next weather maker before Thanksgiving.